What's up everyone? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to Vlogmas. It is December 1st and today I am going to completely decorate for Christmas. Now I planned on going all out with Christmas decor. I really wanted our space to be full of Christmas and then we had some family visit us last minute and that kind of threw a wrench. We just went to Oregon for a week. We leave for Oregon again for a few days. Zach's sister is having a big birthday and we decided to go back for that. So my big extravagant Christmas decor plan is now going a little bit more simple, which I'm super excited about because I think it feels like very timeless and so I'm excited about it. But I'm gonna take you guys through everything that I do today with decorating for Christmas. I got some fresh greenery from Trader Joe's. I already have our Christmas tree up. I put that up actually a while ago. It's been up and then I just put some ornaments on there as a placeholder while we had family in town and then now I'm gonna finish it up and uh, put up our stockings and all, all the things. I did not do a whole lot of Christmas shopping this year. I got a couple new vintage pieces. Let me go grab them, I'll show you. Okay, so I think this is all that I've purchased as far as Christmas decor. And I think I shared my new little nutcracker with you guys already in one of my past videos and our new stockings. So these are the stockings we went with. I really wanted those like, you know, very old world, super long sock type stockings and these were the closest thing that I could find. I think Zach and I are only going to do stocking stuffers this year or really, really low key presents, nothing too extreme. We were talking about it and we just said we'd rather go on like, you know, a small trip or something or a trip instead of doing Christmas gifts. So we're going to keep it very, very low key this year, which is really nice. Yesterday, I went out to the antique stores. I actually ran into Shelly, if you're watching this video. Hi, thank you for coming up to me. And Tamara, so if you are watching this video, thanks for saying hi to me. I love meeting you guys in person. So when you come up to me, thank you. You make my whole day, you have no idea. And the fact that I ran into two of you yesterday was awesome. Uh, so I was out looking for some new Christmas decor and I decided just to add to my collection that I have currently. So a lot of my Christmas ornaments are just silver balls, silver ornaments, and I just decided to try to find as much of that as I could. I got a few of these ones. These are a little bit bigger. And then I got this little size here, and they're all like vintage, so you can see the patina on them, which is my favorite thing ever. And then I got two, so I got a bunch of those and, and I got some, some even smaller ones. I like these for the top of the tree because, you know, it gets a little bit smaller up there. So I like these small ones for the top of the tree. So I got quite a bit actually. And then I found just one of these, which I thought was such a unique shape. I've never seen anything like this, like a little teardrop. And then I found this little one here, which I have some ornaments that I got a couple years ago from CB2 that I thought this kind of went with. And I wish there was more of these, I loved it. Um, I almost didn't get it and I thought, you know what, it's okay. We are adding, we are collecting our home decor. Collecting our Christmas decor, just like we do with home decor. So it's okay if I have a couple odd ones here and there that I don't have matching to. And yeah, so that's really all that I purchased this year, I believe. I did get some new barware, which Christmas time is my favorite time of the year to get barware. So I got a couple new glasses for that. I wanna make, I still wanna make Coquito, which is the proper way to say it, which is a Puerto Rican kind of Christmas drink that I'm super excited to share. If you guys have a recipe, leave it down in the comments. I looked up some recipes and I asked over on Instagram and I, I didn't realize how long it takes. I thought it was like, you know, like a cocktail that I could just whip up. No, it takes some time to prepare that. Um, but yeah, it's Vlogmas and I'm going to share as much as I possibly can with you guys this whole month. So get ready, I'm excited. But first, we need to get this house ready for Christmas. I am 
stoked to get my decor finally up. But first, we need to start with some homemade hot chocolate because I like to sip on some hot chocolate while I decorate and I like to make chocolate homemade hot chocolate it's so much better and it's so easy so I thought I'm gonna do that here on the channel with you guys today so let's go if you haven't made homemade hot chocolate you have to try it it is so much better than store-bought hot chocolate so I'm just getting out my ingredients right now and honestly I haven't made that I don't think I made this last year so I just kind of wing it. I'm using oat milk. 2% is going to be better or like the thicker, the better. I might add a little bit of the cream in here. Cocoa, cinnamon, vanilla. Sometimes I do add a little bit of sugar. I feel like it makes it a little richer, but I'm going to use oat milk. And like I said, I do think that 2% or like other milk would be a lot better, but it's all right. I'm gonna do, Zach wants a little bit, so I'm gonna do two cups of milk, because I'm just figuring the size of the cup. <laughs> That's how I'm basing my measurements. And I'm gonna heat that up a little bit. I also like to make fresh whipping cream, so I'm gonna whip that up as well. By the way, I know I shared this with you guys in an Amazon video. This is the best mixer ever. It's such a game changer. It doesn't have a cord. It is so good. I always grab for this one. I have my KitchenAid, but my uh, stand mixer, but I do grab this one for like small things like this. It is awesome. It's linked in my storefront if you guys are interested, but I love it because it really like holds a charge for a long time. Awesome. Okay, I might add like just a splash of cream. Actually, I'm gonna wait. And I'm gonna add like, I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of the cocoa. And maybe like, I'm just gonna kind of do a dash of vanilla. Just like a little dash, so maybe like a teaspoon-ish. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of chocolate and look at it from there kind of add if I need I don't even know if we have mugs we don't drink a lot of like hot coffee or hot drinks so hopefully we have some mugs all right I'm just gonna mix this in basically you just want to make sure it's nice and mixed and warm to drink so I feel like start with a tablespoon or two. I can already tell that I do think I want it a little bit more chocolatey and then just keep adding it in. This is seriously so simple and you kind of just want to adjust it to your liking. You can add a little salt in there to cut. And then the other thing I need to add in here is sugar. All right, we're gonna do quarter of a cup of sugar to start. That's probably gonna be plenty. And then you're just gonna wanna kinda like taste it from there and adjust. Might do a little less, just, you can always add more, but you can't take away, so. Oh, that looks so good. I gotta show you guys, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? I'm telling you, homemade hot chocolate is game changer. You have to try it. It seems like more work, you know, when you just like tear open a packaged one, but like the flavor is unmatched. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little taste and see where we're at. Mmm, that is rich. Now I will say, I can taste the oat milk a lot, so you're gonna want like some 2% or, you know. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cream in here just to give it a little bit of that. I'm oh yeah, much better. Okay, now I'm gonna let that warm up. I didn't go super sweet, so you're gonna want to adjust your sugar to your, to your liking. So basically, you're gonna wanna milk, your hot cocoa, your sugar, vanilla, 
and then you're gonna do a whipped cream top. Because I'm doing the whipped cream top and it's gonna be a lot sweeter, I'm gonna keep the cocoa a little less sweet, but you can go as sweet as you want. Add as much sugar as you want in here. Um, and I can take it off the heat because it's gonna get too hot to drink. So now I'm gonna make the whipped topping, which again, if you're making homemade hot cocoa, you gotta make the real topping because it's all like the whole vibe, you know what I mean? Whipped cream in here. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. I like it vanilla -y, so I do a little, kind of a lot. And for the sugar with the cream, you're gonna want powdered sugar. So I just, you guys, I'm terrible because I just dump it in here and then I adjust. But you, you kind of can't go wrong with whipped cream. Like it's just gonna be sweet, you know? And whip. Mm-mm-mm. You see? That yummy. Cream. Whoops, making a mess. It's all right, we can clean that up. Add a little cinnamon. Just a smidge. Happy or Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. The chocolate I did a little bit more bitter because of the cream, the sugar cream on top. So let's try it. It's good. It tastes like grown up hot chocolate. It's, yeah, it's grown up hot chocolate. It's just like. Well, grown up it's would more be like. A, like refined. I think have booze in it. Yes, yeah, that's what I said. You could add, what do you put in like a spiked hot chocolate vodka or, cause you don't want to change the flavor too much. You just have to try it. It's so much better. Don't you think this is so much better than a box hot chocolate? Mm -hmm. It's like more enjoyable. It's definitely like could be a dessert for sure. It could be. Yes, but like I said, this one's not too, too sweet. Mm. I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's good. Cheers. <laughs> This is our living area. On our front door, I have my wreath. I love these wreaths. It might need a little zhuzhed. I just took down the fall wreaths and popped this one up on the command strip that I was using for that wreath. So it's a little odd as far as like where the peephole is. So I might have to fix that up. But for now, it's up and it looks really good. Over here, I have a little Fraser fur lit for scent in the house. And then I just keep this little Fraser fur right here so that we can just spray the room when we want to kind of make it smell very Christmassy. And then for the Christmas tree this year, I decided, ooh, it's a little out of focus, there we go. I decided to go with just silver and clear ornaments. I did not put our J's up this year. I might change my mind, but I just wanted something a little bit more simple. I think with having family here and traveling a lot and having the tree already up, I really liked the simple look. I just added a lot more of the silver ornaments. A lot of the new ones that I just got recently, actually yesterday, are up now on the tree like this one. This little icicle was from yesterday as well, little vintage icicle, and a lot of 
vintage. These are all vintage silver Christmas ornaments. I didn't even use my West Elm ones. These are all vintage, which I love. I feel like it feels really special. So I have that. And then on the coffee table, I have, you guys remember these from last year? These are little glasses that I actually used for photography, but I thought that they looked like Santa's glasses, so I pulled them out. They actually end up in my Christmas decor now, and this is now the second year that I have them out as like Santa's little glasses. I have this vintage bell, and then I'm burning iconic scent candy cane candles, and I just love that these are here. They're Christmassy, and just... I love those. And then over here, I have our new stockings. I love these. I think that these are so beautiful. I'll link these down below. I'll link anything that I can down below for you guys. I have one garland on here, making it a little bit more simple. I really love to make it thick and lush and fluffy, but whenever I put too much right here, the remote doesn't reach the receiver and it won't work. So. I went simple in hopes that this will work out. I moved my um, paper mache bowls over here just to kind of add that tone over here because it was they were over there. So because the um, stockings are like an off-white, I just felt like this balanced it a little bit. And then I put my Target Nutcracker and now my Vintage Nutcracker side by side. I loved how this looked. It's just very, very simple, but it feels old world slash very cabin in here. And then if you guys already saw this portion of the video, I bought a ton of greenery and I just used my vases around the house and filled them with the greenery to help really fill our house with that scent, that Christmas tree, fresh Christmas tree scent. So. This is the arrangement that I have over in this corner. I love my vintage lamp. It has three different settings and having it on low is giving it such good vibes in here. In the kitchen, I put this, I first started with this one mini or small wreath down here because I wanted to just have the aroma as we were washing dishes and be able to see, but then I ended up not using the one up top, so I put it up there. I was going to put it over our bedside table or our little nightstand in the bedroom, and I actually really like how it looks up here. And then I put a little greenery over here just to balance it because I felt like there was you know, a couple over here and I needed one more just to make it feel balanced. And I actually really, really love the way it turned out. I do need to update our bar soon. So I'm going to do that video after the holidays. I'm going to do some updating. I have a couple bottles up here that I don't, you know, necessarily, I wouldn't have up here, but I used a lot of alcohol for our uh, holiday drinks over on Instagram. So I'm running low. I need a re restock, but I love our bar. It's one of my favorite things in our apartment and I just wanted to bring some Christmas, you know, thread it throughout the home. I have my one piece of red and that is our little hand towel for the kitchen. I will be doing red wrapping as well, but for now this is all of the Christmas red that I have. And then I put a wreath. This is the door to our bathroom. I put a wreath right here. I had the fall wreath here and I just swapped it out on the same command hook. When you walk into our bedroom, I put the same garland that I had up last year up over the door. I love this. I, again, just feel like it gives that old world, almost like a cabin feel. It's very, very cozy and I just love it. I also have these bells just on this um, desk that I painted. It's on the back of our couch. So I have those right here and it's just simple. It's, you know, just them kind of clustered together. And I just, I kind of liked it. As you walk into our bedroom, I continued with the garland. Garland wrapped around this mirror in our room. I have some garland along the headboard of our bed, which I love. Again, it just gives that cabin-like feel, and I just, I really like it. And then just on our bedside table, I added some fresh cut greenery, again, just to give that ambiance, and add a little bit of greenery in here. And that's all that I have going on in the bedroom. In the bathroom, it's actually kind of cute, because when you open up the door right here, you have the wreath. 
I have some more fresh cut greenery in here again for ambiance and I just, I love to fill the home with that aroma and that scent as much as I can. We can't have a tree here, it dies way too fast. So this is the best that I can do. And once all of this dies, I'll just go get more and do the arrangements again. And then all that I have over here is another wreath. I was really hoping that Joanna Gaines would come out with her Target hearth in hand wreath again with the bells, but I haven't seen them. Let me know if you guys know if they're coming out this year or not. So I got this Trader Joe's little small wreath. I put it up on the mirror with a command hook and just another little greenery down here. So I went hard on the greenery this year. All right guys, and that is our 2022 Christmas decor. I love it. It feels very cozy and comfortable, especially because it's very small in here. So like all the decor is like right here and I just love how it feels. It feels very much like Christmas. I hope that you enjoyed it. We'll be back in a day or two with another video. Bye.